What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Tokidoki founder launching his 3D art onto the VV marketplace. But before we do this, if you enjoy this video, then consider dropping a like and subscribing if you're new around here. So yesterday I created a video saying that Season 1 collectibles had actually come to an end. Now, this was based on an Instagram post put out by Vivi, so, um, but I actually believe this piece here will actually be the final collectible launched into the VV Season 1. Now, I'm actually personally really excited about this because we're actually seeing VV diversify uh, into a different marketplace altogether in this particular launch, allowing artists to highlight their particular collectibles into this range and seeing Simon Legno come out as the first artist um, to actually put their name against a 3D art piece in the VV collectible range is a very interesting point to make here because we're going to see this moving forward. VV looking to break out into different market sectors uh, and, and break out into different areas of, what, of NFT collectibles and actual art pieces, artists as a whole has become a huge section of NFT collectibles and seeing uh, this uh, Simon Legno attach his name and want to launch his particular, uh, his own particular collectible into the VV collectible range is an exciting partnership that we're seeing happening here, or an exciting uh, exclusive that we're seeing happening here. Now, another thing I want to touch upon here is the fact that he's launching it because of VV's uh, stance on being carbon neutral. Very important point to make here. You know. When we look at what Vivi are doing in terms of uh, setting the bar and becoming this go-to platform for Vivi collect uh, for NFT collectibles, sorry, um, being carbon neutral is just a great PR. It's a great representation of what the brands stand for um, and wanting to protect the planet because you know we all only have one one planet. And you know, seeing what's going on around the world, I'm not going to touch upon this too much, but seeing what's going on around the world as we as we become more aware of of of, of climate change and becoming more aware of the effects that technology and these and fossil fuels etc have on the world, we can see that these brands, when they come out and make a stance uh, to actually uh, say, look, we want we're going to be 100% carbon neutral, will actually show the uh, the longevity and the forward thinking nature of where VV wants to be long term because. This is something we'll see more and more uh, within the NFT collectible space and the crypto space as uh, as we uh, as we see these brands want to sort of protect the planet. So seeing this that VV have done and this sort of stake in the ground they're making about being 100% carbon neutral has, in this, in my opinion, given Simon Legno the confidence to put his name against the brand because it's something he believes in. And I think we'll see this moving forward. More top artists wanting to put their name against VV uh, and launch their uh, their collectible. And also some. I touched upon in my previous video the amount of collectors there are in Vivi as well. You know, we touched upon there being potentially over 40,000 different collectors based on who's purchased gems in the past um, or cur to current day. Now, this is big and significant um, because now Simon Legno sees this audience. You know, he he's able to sort of impact his art uh, to more people, and his and his particular collection or this particular collectible piece gets to to be bought and and enjoyed by a more diverse range of a diverse range of audience. So very interesting points to touch upon when we, when we look upon uh, look at these artists introducing their pieces into Vivi. So I actually want to take a little look at uh, uh, Simon Legno or Simone Legno. Um, sorry if I'm, I'm saying his name incorrectly, um, um, but basically I just want to touch upon here is that Tokidoki and him being a creator and founder of, of Tokidoki and seeing their sort of partnerships they've made here, you know, we see Marvel. Now, we've, we've all touched upon this in the past, you know, this association between Vivi and Marvel moving forward and just another section here, seeing an artist and a brand uh, being attached to Marvel as well, that's and, and this particular artist oh, actually already uh, having connections to Marvel uh, within Tokidoki uh, could actually uh, sort of shows and highlights even more connective elements going on in the background. But we've also got Hello Kitty, we've got uh, Xbox, T-Mobile, and just showing uh, the type of influence that Simon Legos actually had. Um, and how significant this partnership's actually been because we can see if we go over to the different brands that he owns or the different sub brands in Tokidoki, we've already seen Unicorno, we've already seen Myrmicorn. And this is important to take note. The success of these launches within the VV marketplace has probably also given the artist Simon Legno the confidence to launch his range into the VV collectibles. Now, the reason I say this is because 
we're going to see this moving forward when brands are have successful launches when they when they essentially get sold out which is what happened within this range uh, you're going to see more brands want to be involved with it with this as as this concept within nfts gets justified and this was something i touched upon in my previous video you know seeing this nft collectible range evolve and mature uh, we'll see more brands want to move over and get launched into this space and seeing that uh, the owner of Toki Doki already has had successful brands and successful launches within the VV uh, marketplace. It's given him the confidence, in my opinion, to want to put his name, his actual name, against the VV collectible range, um, which I think is extremely exciting. It shows that diversity within VV. It shows their, their brand and that significance in terms of their, um, I guess, you, I, I guess their... Um, the efficacy, the brand efficacy is allowing other uh, other people to want to attach themselves to Vivi, which is very, very interesting. And another thing I just want to touch upon here is um, that uh, here, sorry, uh, sorry, this this point here, this point here with uh, Mufia, uh, Coco Man, Wild Boys, Till Death Do Us Part and Cactus Friends. These are things that he's actually created. So seeing um, the um, this inside of Toki Doki in terms of Cactus Friends, um, we've got Mufia, we've got Till Death Do Us Part, we've got Punk Star. I think we'll see these particular brands get launched into VV moving forward as well. Um, as we continue to see um, Toki Doki roll out more different collectibles and more of their range into the VV um, into the VV marketplace. Now, the final point I want to touch upon here was the actual marketplace as a whole. Um, as we can see, the, the NFT collectors, the VV, the NFT collectible R, is becoming a significant section within uh, within NFTs as a whole. Um, and I just wanted to go through and show you some of these sales that have happened. Uh, we've got uh, Grimes, five point eight million dollars uh, here on one of his collector uh, collectible ranges. Mad Dog Jones, three point nine million dollars launched. And uh, the reason I want to touch upon this is when we see an artist, one artist attach themselves to this brand, to attach themselves to Vivi, we'll see other reputable artists come over. So who knows what will happen in the future? We may see collabs from these top, top, top artists want to put themselves into the Vivi and attach themselves not just to the Vivi brand, but also to the to the, uh, to the audience within Vivi, the marketplace as a whole, the demand that Vivi's marketplace are driving now. And We'll just continue to scroll through here as we can see. This was an interesting one. We've got uh, our first ever sort of suit, um, like house. This is like a 3D art house that's been launched. Very interesting as we continue to see uh, NFT art mature and NFT art evolve. And I'm just going to continue to scroll through here as we can see many different diversities. And, and obviously the number one being Beeple with their $69 million sale happening earlier on this year. So I hope this video has been useful to you. I think this has been a very critical partnership for VV, allowing them to sort of diversify into, um, uh, into different ranges and different areas of NFT collectibles. And seeing this being, um, seeing this artist attach his name to VV and to the VV collectible range uh, will just further signifies and highlights their, 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 their sort of dominance and their, and their involvement within the overall NFT marketplace. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I hope this information has been useful to you. Please drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.